I think one of the most important things people in our profession want to do is leave a legacy. And Mr. Roselle has left a legacy um, for many, many years of students. I was a, a student in his senior English class in 1998. I'm dating myself, but, <laughs> well, I'm dating him too. But um, I just remember sitting in his class and he just had a dry wit. I mean, if you've ever talked to him, he'll crack a joke and then he'll just straight face, just look at you straight face, and you're like, are we supposed to laugh? He's definitely a jokester. He'll make jokes and like his little quotes he says, it's so funny, like, I don't think I've ever come in here where I haven't laughed. Mr. Ozell, he's a fun teacher. He knows how to make the class fun while he's teaching. He's, he's hilarious at the same time as he's informative. You can tell he's passionate about English literature. He loves to convey the meaning of it to everyone. He not only just teaches them how to become better writers, uh, he inspires them to become better people. I came in here and Mr. Roselle taught me and he told me like, I'm a great writer, you write what you want and like, you be who you are in your writing and so it just really spoke to me and now I'm really like open with writing and letting other people read it because before I used to hold it to myself. He made reading Shakespeare really enjoying for me because I didn't really enjoy Shakespeare before reading Hamlet with Mr. Roselle. I definitely felt like Mr. Roselle was one of the few teachers in my life that cared about me as a person. He develops really personal relationships with his students because he, you can tell he truly cares. We actually have some pictures of my classes up here because he keeps them all all of his previous writing classes in a line on the wall. I feel like he's had a hand, you know, just as my parents have, in making me what I am. He taught both of my parents when they were in high school. Uh, he's friends with my grandparents, and I'm glad I had him as a teacher myself. I want to congratulate Mr. Ron Roselle for being named the Sam Houston State University Distinguished Educator of the Year for 2016. Mr. Roselle, we're extremely proud of you here at Brazoswood High School. Congratulations, Mr. Roselle. You deserve this award, and you are definitely the best teacher I've ever had. Congratulations, Mr. Roselle. I didn't want to be a teacher. To start, I had no idea what I wanted to be. I went to Sam Houston because my father had gone there, and he was a superintendent of schools, and it was expected for me to go somewhere. So I went, and my students know that I didn't do very well, and Uncle Sam collected me for two years, and I did my service and came back and, and fell in love with Sam Houston and fell in love with English, and uh, knew then that I wanted to teach, and I've never regretted it. I have no idea how I motivate my students. I, I think, I hope, I show them how important reading and literature and, and a better way to communicate is to me. And I hope that does something for them to see that it's that important for me. I try to show them that I love to read. I, I believe that literacy is as essential to learning as air and water is to living. I really do. I, I, I think that we are moving more and more away from reading. My students more and more, they might want to learn to write, but they don't want to read to learn how to write. And that's kind of been my mission, and I think that if I've motivated students at all, and I hope I have, I think it's through, they've seen that, they've seen that passion in me. Uh, this is a amazing honor that I've been given, and I actually feel very undeserving of it. It's, there are so many great teachers in the world, and to represent Sam Houston in this singular way is just almost staggering for me. It's, I take it very seriously, I'm, I'm very humbled by it, and I'm very appreciative uh, of it. I've never taken any stock whatsoever in the old saying that people that can't teach I think that the finest service we can give, and I always remember, and I tell my kids this, Sam Houston probably owes me some tuition back pay because I send a lot of kids to Sam Houston because they see how much I love it. You can look around this classroom and see how much I love Sam Houston. And the motto of Sam Houston, 
never goes very far away from me, and that is the measure of a life is its service. And I personally believe the finest service a person can give, one of the finest services, is to lead the next generation forward into finding the service of their own.